Born in a small town situated between Anniston and Jacksonville, Alabama in 1905, Nanny Doss was one of five children to Jim and Louisa Hazel. Doss's unhappy and difficult childhood stemmed from her father's abusive and demanding behavior. He frequently kept them from school to perform household chores, work on the family farm, and forbade Nanny's obsessions with romance magazines, particularly the Lonely Hearts columns. However, Louisa Hazel was considered loving and gracious to Doss and her siblings. At the age of seven, Nanny claimed to have suffered a head injury when she hit her head on a metal train seat, to which she later cited as the source of her destructive behaviors. Although she was never professionally diagnosed with any mental disorders, later into her adulthood, Doss married five men, four of which she killed with arsenic or rat poisoning. Of her four children, two of them were allegedly poisoned by her as well. Overall, Nanny Doss is credited to up to 11 deaths, including her granddaughter, grandson, two middle daughters, Frank Harrelson, Arlene Lanning, and his mother, siblings Dovey, mother, Lou, Hazel, son-in-law, Richard Morton, and Samuel Doss. Nanny Doss is now recognized as one of the most prolific serial killers of the 20th century. After marrying Charles Braggs at just 16, Doss's first marriage disintegrated drastically by 1927 due to Braggs's abusive temperament. This period marked the start of Doss's murderous habits. That year, two of their children died. Their deaths were attributed to food poisoning. Soon after, Braggs is left with their oldest daughter, Melvina, after receiving an anonymous warning not to consume any food prepared by Nanny. He earned the distinction of being the only husband not to die at the hands of Nanny. All of Doss's marriages following Braggs ended in poisonous deaths. The natures of the crimes consisted of Nanny poisoning her husbands through coffee or her classic prune pie when she found fault with them. These killings occurred years apart with no evidence set time frame. The demographics of Doss's victims included faulty husbands, in-laws, and blood kin. Although Doss never left a signature, her last murder of Samuel Doss proved to be her undoing. After Mr. Doss had been admitted to the hospital after consuming arsenic-ridden prune pie, the physician who treated him rightly suspected foul play. After Samuel Doss's eventual death, forensic autopsies found enough arsenic in his body to kill a horse. Nanny was arrested and charged with murder. Under interrogation, and in return for being able to keep a romance magazine, she confessed to killing four of her five husbands. Doss was found capable to stand trial and was charged on accounts of murder by state justices of North Carolina, Kansas, and Oklahoma. Although she had been sentenced to death by electric chair, Doss was sentenced to life in prison because the judge declared her insane and did not want to set a poor precedent. However, Doss was never found professionally diagnosed with a mental illness and did not receive treatment. Thrilled at the prospect of life in prison, her habit of smiling and giggling when discussing her crimes earned her the nickname, the Giggling Granny. She attributed her crimes to the head injury she suffered during childhood. On June 2, 1965, on the 10th anniversary of her incarceration, Doss died of leukemia and was buried in Oak Hill Memorial Park. Nanny Doss may be characterized as an organized killer. Doss was charming. She had multiple partners throughout her lifetime, with one of her relationships lasting over 15 years. She also premeditated all of her murders, as shown through the careful planting of poison for her husbands. Moreover, these victims were obviously specifically targeted, even in Doss selecting them for marriage leading up to the murders of them. She was so organized with the murders themselves that no one investigated their deaths until she was up to a fifth husband. Finally, she also seemed very pleased with her murders once she was arrested. Nanny Doss was most likely a mission-oriented killer because, quote, mission-oriented killers justified their murders as being necessary to rid the world of a group of people that they perceived to be undesirable, unquote. Doss found all of her husbands to be unfit after a certain amount of time, as none of them fit the standards she had for the perfect partner. Mission-oriented killers also plan their murders with organized and careful precision and commit these murders quickly and cleanly, as Nanny did with her poisonings.
Doss killed each of her husbands because she decided they were not up to her standards of the perfect husband she had created in her mind. According to the Encyclopedia of Modern Serial Killers, despite various insurance payments, Nanny insisted that money played no significant roles in her crimes. Nanny's main motivations to kill stem from her dream of discovering an ideal husband as described in her romance novels. In fact, Nanny told her interrogators, I was searching for the perfect mate, the real romance of life. I don't know. 